baby wearing in a cold. Few things to remember. When you're dressing, no, thank you. When you're dressing your baby, remember that layering is very, very important. So use as many layers as you need, depending on how warm it is outside. If your baby's too hot, take a layer off. It's better to layer up than use one very bulky coat or one very bulky snowsuit. The reason why we discourage people from using snowsuits and slings is that they are really, really warm. So babies can overheat even if it's very cold outside. Um, and if they overheat, they can become unwell and you might have uh, some uh, bit of a situation. <laughs> so yes, so no snowsuit. Um, you, the other reason why we discourage people from using snowsuits is that it's very difficult to tighten the sling because they're so bulky, you just don't know how much to tighten. And if it's not tightened properly and if your baby's not positioned properly, then it's very difficult to support the head and support the airways and make sure your baby has got clear airways. So, forget snowsuits, they're great for uh, buggies and stuff but slings we really discourage them. Uh, what can also happen is that when you scrunch up a snowsuit, the, your baby might actually not be warm because it doesn't. if you scrunch it up, it doesn't insulate the same way. So layering is good. Um, we use a lot of wool here, so yarn. Uh, so like jumpers, like that. This was hand knitted, so cute. Um, otherwise like cardigan that you just put on top lots and lots of layers um it's a bit hit and miss knowing how many layers to put on your baby especially at the beginning when you're new to all that don't worry what's really handy is being able to remove the layers so that's why we start with some thin layers and then we use cardigans a lot because if it's suddenly very it's getting too warm and your baby's feeling too hot you can just undo it and then just pull it off like this okay um, keep the head warm so lots of different hats I like hats that you can tie so this is made by my friend Lucy who's a peer supporter here uh, she's called uh, Golly Gum Drops and she hand made this really cool hat um, and she puts ties on it and the reason why I like ties is that when I back carry I know the hat is not going to fall off or my baby's not going to pull it off so I can just tie it under the neck and then we're good to go otherwise on the front just like a hat cotton hat if it's not too cold and then like thicker woolly hats like this um legs very very important your baby's legs are very warm so uh layering up pairs of socks or you can use what have i done this time ah yes little booties like that something to keep your baby warm something that's lined maybe with some fleece or something like that um just make sure the legs are warm otherwise you can get some baby ring socks that are made by myself so i make these socks yes with my mom that's our little side business so they are hand knitted using a machine so they're knitted on the machine and then we finish them off and we make them very long so you can spread all over the leg or you can fold them down like that and we make them roughly one size so they can last you probably a good three years. So they're really spread out, but they fit quite small babies as well. So if you want a pair, drop me a message. I've got lots of different colors and I can pop one pair in a post for you. Um, these are just some examples of colors that we make, but we've got lots and lots of different colors. So yeah, very warm. Uh, if you don't want to get this, then just whatever you find, like, quite warm trousers so you can layer up trousers or thin trousers on top of each other or just very warm socks so just layer them up but feet get very exposed in the sling because the concentration of the warmth is here so your baby's going to be very warm oops where's your face <laughs> very warm on your body but the legs are very exposed and the head as well so that's why it's very important try to keep arms like that on your chest especially with small babies so they keep warm Try to put either some socks or some little mittens on. Some babies totally refuse, so just try to keep them warm on your body like this. One thing about body temperatures, remember that very small babies can't thermoregulate, which means that they cannot regulate their own, 
body temperature so if you have too many layers on they won't be able to cool themselves down or or something very thick like a, a very thick snowsuit so it's best to just use layers if you're not sure if your baby's too hot just observe them so if their face becomes quite um, red or flushed or um, if they're sweating they really shouldn't be sweating uh, or your baby's just asleep and not really responding give them a nudge put your hand on their chest because you can tell how warm um, they are from the chest and if they are too warm just take something off because remember concentration of the temperatures here what's really great about baby wearing is that with the close contact you help helping your baby regulate their body temperature so you're aligning and then so that's why it's best to keep as much contact as possible and have quite thin layers so what i like to do is i start with just a t-shirt so my baby can be close to me on the t-shirt and then i add cardigans quite warm cardigans layer up then i use maybe a scarf if you use scarf make sure you're not covering your baby's face very very important so i might just do something like this to keep myself warm but make sure you're keeping the tails and everything away like this and then i might add another thing and then depending on how cold it is i'm just going to layer up but i'm going to show you some example of the things that are available all kind of like finish jumpers like this something not too thick all right um remember to keep yourself warm okay <laughs> think about yourself is very important um and not to overdress because if you feel too hot it's more difficult to help your baby regulate their body temperature and also once your baby's in the sling it's very difficult to take things off so what i always do is i put my baby on in a sling and then I add layers over so whatever amount of jumpers or uh, sorry cardigans coats so if I feel too hot I can just take up a cardigan a lot more easily than taking the sling off and things like this unless it's very very cold I try to avoid wearing myself very thick uh, woolly jumpers because if I'm too hot then I can't take it off and it's very difficult uh, to especially when it's cold and it's raining take your baby out of the sling and blah, blah, blah. it's very faffy anyway so um tricks so here i have an uh, go on me which is a carrier of with straps that you can detach so i'm going to detach the straps i'm going to show you a very cool trick so remember we don't want snow suits and or anything very thick so that includes also quite uh thick um PVC coats, so these kind of things. Again, your baby can overheat in that. But if you want to keep your baby warm, what you can do is put your coat on the outside. So you can thread the strap through the sleeve. Oh gosh, it's a very small sleeve. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same here. Ta da! Okay, so now I can have my baby's coat on, but it is threaded through, so that's going to give me an extra layer like this. And I'm just going to put it on. And then you just want to clip. So, like that. And then you're just going to clip and clip. I'm just doing a very quick demo here. This is not to learn how to put carriers on but just to give you an idea of what it looks like okay so this way now i've got the coat over the sling like this but it's giving me the same type of insulation so my baby is really nice and warm but my baby cannot overheat like this okay put that side super handy it's a pocket now you can carry your shopping and all your things in there <laughs> and then my baby will go here and the goat is on the outside. So this trick will work if you can detach the straps, all right? If you can't detach them, then you can't thread the sleeve through it, which is fine, because then you can just tie them around the strap. Just doesn't, just, this is just a handy way to do it, but you can totally do that as well. Um, if you've got carriers that have mesh in it, 
So these are fine all year round. Just remember you've got a bit more airflow, so you might want to add a layer over it. So the coat trick, or you can add like tie a scarf around it. So you're getting a little bit warmer like that. Um, with ring slings, again, you want to avoid putting too much, too many layers in it. So wraps ring slings, you can also do the coat trick. So you can just bring it around like that and just thread it through the rings like that and then just tuck it in somewhere here and then again nice and warm again the bag solution um if you're using wraps so with wovens you can uh, make sure you spread out all the passes so if you're doing a front cross carry you can wrap your front cross passes um layer up so like so just use uh carries that has uh um lots of passes so two or three passes so that will keep you baby warmer and warmer when you go inside you can just unpeel so you're cooling your baby down we will talk a bit more about this in a second uh right so accessories there's loads of different ones so this, this is called, see this is from Zippersin, really great idea, it is a coat extender, you can uh, use that during pregnancy, so if your coat is just a little, you can't close it because of your bump, you can add this, so you've got different options with clipping or zipping and they've got lots of different models you also have poppers so you can make it work with the majority of coats and you can also tighten it a little bit so it's really great lots of different ways to put it on um zippers in a great you can go straight to their website or you can go to uh wear my baby uh, and use the code hug5 and get a bit of money off so that's one option other option so this is a baby wearing coat oh sorry a baby wearing cover cover so a little bit different it goes all around you so once your baby's in the sling you've got your baby here and then you can add the cover over like this and then you tighten it so this one has got some tie somewhere here at the front so you just pull it's here at the back at the front here and basically this will cover your baby obviously make sure the face is always visible you also have a little hood again if you use hoods with whatever you're using always make sure I wear that always because it's very very important but this is waterproof you've got little pockets here in the front it's actually really nice and comfy there's lots and lots of different brands. Um, I like this one because it's gorgeous. It is from a brand called Marco Miles, and I will type all of this up later. Uh, but lots of different uh, sling companies do um, do baby bag covers. So Ergo does one. Uh, uh, Izara does do a really nice one. I really like it. It's gorgeous. Um, and then there's like other companies like Bundle Bean and you can find loads and loads of different ones online. Again, if you want a cover, go to the Where My Baby website. It's got loads of different options. Um, if it's raining, I use my raincoat. So I will always wear this over my sling. And then uh, this is a bit small, so I just use my zip extender or I might just use my cover so that everybody's uh, dry uh, with waterproofness so if the hood isn't working out for some reason you might end up still having to use an umbrella and I know it's a bit annoying because it means that you can't have both hands free but just see what is it like so if it's raining really heavily you might need still to have an umbrella so there's some options um, baby wearing hoodies I've got a couple here so this one is from Made by Zeus and uh, it's got basically like a zip extension on the front so you can use this during pregnancy as well. And what's very nice about this, it's got also a zip at the back. So if I'm back Karen, I'll just zip this down 
like this. And I'm just gonna open the buttons. And then I'll just put it on my back. My baby's head's gonna come out of this. So you just zip it down as much as you need. It does take a little bit of practice putting everything on your back, okay? So don't freak out, don't worry, just practice. You'll get there eventually. It is it's a little bit weird, but the way I usually do it is I try to spread out as much. So I might just start with one sleeve and then I just spread out and then pop my baby's head in it. You might need a mirror at the beginning to learn with. Um, but it's not very difficult. And then you might need to keep your coat extender, the extension, sorry, in the, in the front, because depending on the size of your baby, that might make it a lot uh, smaller. Um, if you buy something, always have a think. Um, do you want to use it for back carrying as well? Because not all baby wearing hoodies and coat offer a back carrying option, so they don't all have a hole. Um, so it's worth having a little thing. Do you want it? Do you not want it? Um, are you going to be carrying your baby on the front just during this, the winter and then you'll be back carrying in the summer and you don't care and then you might not continue? It's a few things to consider. Other hoodies. This is the Boba hoodie. Really love that one. Uh, it's got a hole and it's keeping your baby and yourself warm because you still got a little bit of cover here. It's got zips on the side so you can make it wider as your baby grows but also if you're getting warm I just zip it up and then I just got a bit more airflow and you can back her as well you just do the reverse uh, I really like this it's really nice it's quite thin it's you don't over hit um, and what I do often is that I will wear something thin like this on my front and then I'll just add a coat over or I'll just do the reverse and then I'll have my baby on my back and then what I'll do is I'll just add a very loose coat so the head will be here and then I can still see my baby. Um, so I've got a coat for instance, I've got loads and loads of coats but this is like super wide so I can put my baby on my back and then the top of the collar will come just under my baby's head like this so then I can still see my baby and I can just keep going. Um, I'll do a demo in a minute to give you an idea of what it looks like. Other option. So this is also a really great brand I really like. Uh, this is Grazy. Um, and they do all sorts of coats and hoodies for baby wearing. So they have kind of like a double zip. So you can wear it just like that if you don't have your baby or your baby is still quite small. Or you can open up and then zip on the wider setting. I shall show you that now. So like that. So when you're on your front, you've got your baby, you can zip this one. So if you've got loads of room here, or if your baby's still small, you can zip on the other one. Or if you take your baby out, if you've got a toddler, they're walking, you can just keep it nice and tight, um, tight against your body. For back carry, put it on a wider setting and then your baby will be on your back and then the hood will arrive here. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to bring a baby on my back. So you could use this trick with the coat. Like this. So I'm going to bring my baby in. I'm just going to scoot my baby to the back. So I've just got my bag, my bag. This is not a demo. <laughs> I'm just giving you an idea of what's possible. So make sure you can still reach your chest strap. This, where is it gone? Chest strap. Tighten everything. 
move this down a bit. Okay, so can see my baby's face, but please make sure you can still see your baby's face. He's just gone buried in it because this baby's way too small to be back carried, okay? But the idea is put your baby on your back. Should have taken a bigger door. Ah yes, okay, now we can see baby, okay, that's good. And then if I have a large coat or if I have something like this, I'm just gonna put it on and I'm gonna bring it over my back. So you don't have to worry about bringing your baby's head through the hole. So the coat basically is right under your baby's neck. So you still got clear airways. And then you can zip. And then you're nice and warm, okay? So that's the idea. And then any large coat will just work like this. So you don't need to buy something in particular. You can just invent. Just be creative. If you are good at sewing, you could try to get, um, so I've made that once a long time ago. I got a fleece kind of very warm hoodie. Um, I don't think it had a hood, maybe it had a hood. And then I basically, I just cut a hole, um, a little bit like the Boba hoodie has. So I cut a hole at the top, and so I could front carry and back carry and because it was fleece it was quite warm so it was quite nice um you can experiment with ponchos so i like ponchos as well i have uh capes so may not work on the back with a cape but on the front it's great because then you can be nice and warm um just see what you have very large coats usually work or you can just layer up instead of using a coat just lots of layers jumpers like a shawl, a scarf, whatever's gonna work for you. Um, few things to remember is that as soon as you go inside, so if you go in the shop or wherever you're going in, open up as much as you can because you don't want you, your baby to overheat, okay? So just unzip, open, take your baby's cardigan off, take the hat off um, so your baby's not too warm. Um, it's very important to remember to do this step every time, even if it's just for a few minutes, they can overheat very quickly. Um, don't be scared to experiment, all right? You'll find something that's gonna work for you. If you want to get a coat, um, there's lots and lots of different models. Um, so lots of different brands. I like Mamalia, I like Wombat, uh, Angel Wings, do some really cool one as well, uh, Grazy who do hoodies as well are really great. A lot and lots of different great brands. Always have a think whether you want front and back carry options. Uh, Where My Baby is doing a, a discount for Mamalia coats. Uh, if you use code MAMA10 and then head over to the website, you can get some money off until Sunday, I think. So if you're watching this in replay, it's too late probably now. <laughs> um, but you, yeah, just go and dig around. You can also go on the baby wearing uh, for sale Facebook groups. Lots of people are sell selling this kind of accessories there. So you can buy second hand. Most of the time they're still in very good condition. So it's worth having a little uh, dig around. Um, and I think that's about it really. I think I've covered most of the options and tricks and things. Um, just try. Don't worry too much. As long as your baby's not overheating, just layer up, don't use snowsuits or thick PVC coats um, and keep the feet warm, very, very important to keep the feet warm. If there are any questions uh, and you're watching this in replay, feel free to DM me, write a comment, send me an email. I'll be very, very happy to help out and make some recommendations. Thank you very much for watching. Any question, I'll be here for a few more seconds. Do type them now. Okay, I think we're good. Cool. Thank you for watching. Bye.